We always wonder about the Stone Age in which our ancestors survived. This curiosity has led us to make many films set in that timeline. These movies depict what our world looked like in those times. If you have the same curiosity and want to see such films, then you are in right place. Because this cine visit has picked up the top 10 films set in Stone Age. So join us in this ride to prehistoric era and let's start our countdown. At number 10, we got Land of the Lost. This first entry is a sci-fi comedy film that shows how things were in prehistoric times. It's happening. This is an earthquake. Greatest earthquake ever known. Ah! It is directed by Brad Silverlink and it is adapted from the TV series of the same name developed by Sid and Marty Croft. Starring Will Farrell, Danny McBride and Anna Frill in the lead roles, the film follows a renowned paleontologist who travels back to the prehistoric era. Filled with comedy, the movie provides a look of that time with a touch of comedy. It failed to meet expectations at the box office but still, it provides wholesome entertainment to its viewers. At number 9, we got The Clan of the Cave Bear. Another film adapted from the book. This film is an amazing tale of two different human species. Set in the Stone Age, this film revolves around two different subspecies of humans when they interact with each other. It stars Daryl Hannah, Pamela Reed, and James Remar in the lead roles. It was directed by Michael Chapman and written by John Stiles. The film received mixed reviews, but its storyline was admired by critics. It has been translated into 15 languages and has sold over 5 million copies around the world. At number 8, we got The People That Time Forgot. Released in 1977, this film was pretty awesome at the time of its release. Kevin Connor directed this film and its screenplay was written by Patrick Tiley, featuring Patrick Wayne and Doug McClure as the major characters. The film follows a man who went on a mission to rescue his friend, but he finds himself in a strange land that is inhabited by dinosaurs and cavemen. It was a box office success and earned $2 million against a budget of $500,000. It was praised for its unique concept and its execution. It gained favorable reviews from critics. At number 7, we got 1 million years BC. This British fantasy film was a major hype in the 60s. It is a remake of an American film of the same name which was released in 1940. One million years BC erupts on the screen with volcanic excitement. But Don Chaffee, the director of this epic film, took things to next level with this remake. Released in 1966, the film narrates the adventures of a caveman, Tilmark, who is banished from his own tribe. So he went on an adventure to find a new home for his wife and himself. There is many prehistoric animals shown in this film, including dinosaurs. The film was well received by the critics as well as the public. Fascinating, strange and fearful creatures who roamed and ruled the earth a million years BC. At number 6, we got Caveman. This slapstick comedy film is one of its kind. Set in one zillion BC, it revolves around a caveman, Atuk, who was banished from the tribe after he tried to seduce the leader's wife. The handwriting is on the wall. If the human race is ever going to amount to anything, it needs a leader. The film is full of physical comedy and attempted to show Stone Age in a light tone. It was a box office success and crossed over $16 million against a budget of $4 million. Carl Gottlieb gave its direction, while Ringo star along with Denise Quaid and Shelley Long was cast in lead characters. He will teach man to walk erect. He will discover fire. At number 5, we got 10,000 BC. Full of adventure and thrill, this movie deals with a prehistoric mammoth hunter's tribe. Yeah! 
Set 10,000 years ago, the premise revolved around a young hunter who travels to ancient Egypt to save the girl he loves. On his journey, he encounters many hardships, including a saber tooth. Featuring Stephen Strait, Camilla Belly, and Cliff Curtis, it was a major box office success. It received mixed reviews from the critics' community, but its visual effects and music score were praised. Where do they take them? The mountain of the gods. No one has ever returned. You are the one we were waiting for. We will free our people. At number 4, we got Early Man. Directed by Nick Park, Early Man is an animated film with the same niche. Set in the Stone Age era, it depicts a tribe of cavemen who defend their land against bronze-using invaders. Chief! Whoa, 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 whoa. Time to go hunting! Bit early, is it dark? It has an ensemble cast that includes Eddie Redman, Tom Hiddleston and Micey Williams alongside Timothy Spall. Released theoretically on 26th January 2018, the film received generally positive reviews from critics, who praised the animation, voice acting and humor. However, it underperformed at the box office and failed to meet its expectations. You know we always hunt rabbits. Couldn't we try hunting something bigger? At number 3, we got Ao, The Last Hunter. This French film is an amazing depiction of Stone Age. It is directed by Jacques Malatry, who did an amazing job. Set 30,000 years ago, the film follows a caveman whose family and tribe is massacred by another subspecies of humans. Dealing with immense grief, the man embarks on a dangerous journey to find its long-lost twin brother. Simon Paul played the lead role, and alongside him, Aruna Shields is cast in the supporting role. Upon its release, the film became a critical hit and get praise for its cinematography and direction of Jackers. However, due to the lack of proper advertising, it failed to generate considerable revenue at the box office. At number 2, we got Alpha. Alpha is a superb film that shows how our ancestors forged a bond with the ancestors of modern-day dogs. Starring Cody Smith as the central character, it narrates the story of a younger hunter who is separated from his clan. Trying to survive on his own, the younger hunter befriends a Stone Age wolf, and they both survive by helping each other. Directed by Albert Hills, Alpha became an instant hit upon its release. Apart from positive reviews, it managed to gross over $99 million against a budget of $51 million. At number 1, we got Quest for Fire. Today's number one spot is given to this outstanding fantasy adventure film. Quest for Fire is the greatest film ever made on a Stone Age theme. It stars Ron Perlman and Everett McGill in the lead roles. It is directed by Gene Jacquis and its plot surrounds the struggle for control of fire by early humans. It has elements of action, thrill, and comedy to entertain viewers. It was critically acclaimed and won several awards including two Caesar and one Oscar award for best makeup. It was also a huge commercial success and earned more than $55 million at the box office. So which one of these films you are planning to watch? Share us in the comment section and for more amazing videos, subscribe to the Cine Wizard and hit the bell icon to receive notifications.